This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross out your eyes. Stay for five. <laughs> Told you he was in his own lane. Now he's moving full speed. The young homie just arrived in the building. Look at Give him. Give it up for Kitty K. Yeah. Hi, ladies. How y'all doing? <laughs> Yo, who's the crew walking in? Yo, look at the homie right here, man. Ain't feeling too crazy today. Yeah, what's up with you, family? We got a... Uh, with Entourage. I brought the city, like, man. Like this is an HBO series or something. It's so going cold on. out here. I had to bring L.A. with me. You had to bring L.A. <laughs> with you. Yeah, man. How you Oof. been, man? I've been good, man. Yeah. I've been chilling. You know, I'm having fun. Yeah. Album's out. Album's See, out, you know? <laughs> man. Full speed. I've already tuned in to it. Man, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I've been having some fun. That's the whole thing. The whole album I've been telling people was I've been having fun. They'd be like, what's different with this album and the last one? It's just fun. Just fun, man. And less pressure. Uh there's songs on there that I could hear the fun. You know what I like to do? I like to listen to music and then and then live vicariously through through the artists. Right. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I, 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 I can't do necessarily what you do <laughs> anymore. And then, you know, and you know, you got this song with R. Kelly. Dolo. Kells, man. Big yeah. homie. Man, and, you know, and, and I was thinking, damn, Kid Ink and Art Kelly, you know, how did that happen and why does it happen? And then you think about Art yeah. Kelly, and I was like, the comparison is Art Kelly is the, you know, supreme songwriter. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Art Kelly is known for pinning like crazy hooks. Yeah. Panty you know, dropping hooks. Uh, panty dropping hooks. <laughs> you know, and uh, did y'all work in the studio together or was it like. Nah, ooh. I mean, this so. Me and Kels tried to put something together on the first album. Yeah. But a lot of people don't know because I never, you know what I'm saying, talked about it too much. And the record never surfaced anywhere because it just never got finished to the right side on the production end of things more than his side of things. So when the second turn came around. I feel like, you know, I, I run into R. Kelly's people a lot, like just his team, and it's mm -hmm. like other people, you know what I'm saying, I know from them. So they reached out again, like, yo, you back working on the album, we already know, you know what I'm saying, we got the same, you know what I'm saying, circle, so anything you got for Kells? And I was like, actually, I do. Yeah. Because like, a lot of times, sometimes I'll think about it, and they'll ask me if I have records for people, and I'll be like, nah, I don't have anything for that person, because it's not like I'm just chasing features more, so then I'll have songs where I'm like, this fits this person, they could do this. So when they reached out for the Kale situation, I was like, yeah, I got a crazy record. I did. It was low-key already pretty much finished. It yeah. just had like an open verse, and I wanted somebody to re-sing the hook. So I had this whole record, and I think that's what helps me get featured so much is because the record's done. So yeah, they're already hearing a finished song that really, you know what I'm saying, they feel like, oh, I don't need to be on this, but I'll be a part of it because it's, you know what I'm saying, simple work instead of having to get in the studio and rewrite and do something brand new. So... With the Kel situation, I just sent him the record, man, and got that response back. Mm -hmm. the crazy thing about it is, when I first got the demo back, when you're not able to sit down with people and be in the studio with them, they don't understand where you're coming from when it's somebody from the label or somebody else telling them a song that they don't even get. So I had to go back in and be like, yo, Kel's kind of missed a couple parts. Uh -huh. And <laughs> I might need him to come back in on this part and add some melodies and mm. then do some harmonies and this yeah. and that. But I'm like... I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> Somebody else going to tell him. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know what I'm saying? So I telephoned that all the way through, and he actually got back in the studio and recut the yeah, record, recut the which book. is dope because he ain't got to do that for me. I'm just a little kidding, man. That's R. Kelly, <laughs> man. That's R. Exactly. Kelly. Has there ever been an artist you, you gave a record to and, and they turned it down? <clears throat> um, Sometimes. Actually, with the R. Kelly record, I tried to put a couple people on the song with him. Yeah, and when I tried to like play the record, like yo, I got this record with R. Kelly. What you think about going in and duetting and doing something with him? But like everybody got intimidated when they heard R. Kelly on the record, and they were like, Ah, man, I don't know. I'd rather do something brand new. I don't know if I, can, you know, what I'm saying match up or whatever. And I'm just like, Y'all crazy. This is gonna be well, record. You know, <laughs> what we R. Kelly exposed people because he gave mm. birth right, right to the yeah. majority of R. and B. Right. singers that you hear today. Right. And they don't want to be exposed. Mm -hmm. True, true. The funny okay. thing is, I didn't think about that too. I actually read the some of the dudes I reached out to were all from Chicago too. So they probably were mm -hmm. like, nah, they same don't want to stunt with their like, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. I didn't think about that. Oh, yeah. I've never heard you say the word daddy, Tracy. I got a ring to it. I'll say it again. Daddy. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yo, I was thinking about you actually. Once I found out that you were coming, because you know, if your profile is shooting to the top, it's only huh? 
Yeah, it's mm-hmm. only a matter of time before, like, I think a, a celebrity chick or a celebutante is going to be in your arms. And there is a story Hot. about mm-hmm, Rihanna. Uh, reportedly, Big Kid Inc.? Nah, not oh, yet. Okay, okay. I will put that into the universe <laughs> if you want me to. But nah. there's a story that she, um, in order for Leonardo DiCaprio, who's her rumored boyfriend, to continue, right. like, going in and out of her, that he needs to lose some weight. He's got some extra skin uh, around his stomach region. You know, he... <laughs> Leo kind of let 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 it go a little bit, you know. He was getting good money, <laughs> good Wolf of Wall Street money. I, know. Nah. Yeah, but the I think I'm... that's crazy though. The thing yeah. is, see, so I have a girlfriend, but think about my girl is she always wants me to be fatter. Hmm. She's always feeding me like I like when you look fat, your chubby face. I'm just like, nah, I'm getting pudgy. Nah, I think it's cute. Like no, yeah, it's it makes the cute. hugs better. It does some extra well, thickness. Is it better cuddle work or exactly. something like that? Oh well, it's, it's cool not though. better when I gotta go on stage and take my shirt off. <laughs> and then the, all the fans is is playing me on comments. Like, Look, he been eating. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He yep. been in the studio a lot. So, yep. what's a date like with you? As soon as you have a girlfriend, how do you impress? Oh, her? a date is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I impress her by saying whatever you want. Now nah, you can have it. And I think for me, I, I always kill Valentine's Day. Oh, it's always, coming. Yeah, I'm in Dubai this year. It's always a, a, a nice promoter out there who's like, yo, where are you going to go this Valentine's? <laughs> been, I got booked Paris before mm-hmm. Valentine's. We're doing Dubai this year. I feel wow. like I did Hawaii. So I usually, so wait, you know, what it's, you it's doing good trips. For your girl for Valentine's Day, since he's giving you some suggestions. We're not going to Dubai. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I think I'm working that weekend. <laughs> We're doing my one shot the competition. We'll be in Chicago that weekend. Damn. All right. Uh, <laughs> but she gets to eat great meals every night. Um, great meal, home cooked meals. Hey, let me ask you this. I remember when I was younger, and they used to use the term, uh, "Will you go with me?" When you asked the girl to be uh, your woman, how did you right. ask her to be your woman? What did you say? I think it, I, I was never that guy. I honestly was the guy who could never like ask out. Yeah. It was it always had to just be like a moment where you just knew what was going on, and that's kind of the same thing. I think you know I known her since high school, but we never really got involved like that until afterwards. So it was just a you know just knowing being on the same vibe yeah. kind of situation to where I didn't have to like break out of no friend zone and nothing like that to mm-hmm. where it was like. Nice. Excuse me, would you like to go out with me? Mm. It was kind of like, nah, I swear this was on vibrate. Is that it was kind of like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's texting you. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, there we go. So, uh, nah, but yeah, I, I couldn't do the, the ask out yeah. thing. You I just was one like day a shy guy growing up. Introduce yeah. her as your girlfriend. You yeah, know, you just gotta be like, yes, yeah, my shoddy right here. Okay. Just, okay. He's a laid back guy, man. It seemed like you, uh, you, you know, you fun to hang out with. For um, sure. I want to talk about the album. I want to open up the phone lines, 888-742-23345. And I want to do a lyrical breakdown with you with one of your songs. I'll Ooh. explain that up next. All right, here's the one with Dave's Loaf. It's called Be Real. Be Real. That's Be Real right there off the Full Speed album with Kid Inky's here. I'm in the building. Dave's Loaf, man. She She's a rising star. Yep. Yeah, man. And I think, you know, she kind of like show and prove to me because a lot of new artists, you never know when you send them a record how it's going to be when you get it back. Because, yeah. you know, when they do their own songs, when they have one hit sometimes, they're not really knowledgeable themselves that they even made that song or they want to be on that level. Mm. So you get yeah. the next song and it sounds completely different. Like, nah, that's you don't sound like the same person. But she actually, like, I didn't get in the studio with her because I didn't want to make her nervous. Sometimes I get in the studio with people and they be like, oh, I got to show and prove or I got to do this or they want to keep asking me questions where I'm like, be you, go in the booth and do you. I'm going to figure it out later. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying, piece it up. So I yeah. sent her the record and she came back and sent it with just her own style on it. Is sure. there anybody on the album that you did go in the studio <clears throat> with? Yeah, I went in the studio with Chris. So uh, me and CB got in the studio. Okay. With the uh, hotel record. Yeah, the hotel record, me and CB got in the studio. Uh, Migos, you know, every so, city we uh-huh. go, we got in the studio. What else was on the? Uh, let me see. Let me let me check. Let's see what's on the check studio. It out, check it out. Check it out. Uh, Trey songs. Trey, we were in the studio, but I was talking to Trey like every day while he was putting this record together because we had to keep going just back and forth for making it perfect. I think um, Brick hey. Baby Shitra and Young Thug. I mean, we've been in the studio a lot of times. So Usher. you know what I'm saying. Usher, we weren't at the studio, but Usher's been showing a lot of love. Mm-hmm. He's been coming through like just listening parties, and then at the video, he showed a lot of just respect and everything for. Being the artist that he is and at that status. Now, Brick Baby is here. Yeah, um, Brick Baby is in the building. Just say hi, man. Get on, just, you know, this will be your debut on Sway in the Morning, man. Just say what up, bro. Yeah. You got to come <laughs> through and say what's up on, on the mic. 
What it do is Brick Baby <laughs> Man in the building. You already know Black like Gang representing. Okay. West Coast representing. You know, West Coast representing. Slauson's oh. finest. Slauson. Man, Brick I used to baby. go to the swap meet on Slauson. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> man. The, uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Who was it that... Uh, who was that I meet on Slauson? Uh, J Rock, I tell J Rock. I think I met on on on, on over there. Used Park. to be around because he yeah, used to yeah. kick it with Nipple Lock when we used to, yeah. when we was when everybody was coming up. J Rock, yeah, J Rock. I used to meet him on the corner rapping on yeah. Slauson. Mm. Um, now, one thing interesting, you changed your name a couple of times, right? Yeah, I changed my name to make it like more radio friendly because stuff start picking up for me. I used to go by Shitty Montana. Shitty Montana, nah. okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> <Nobody>. <laughs> Shitty. Well, let's, let's analyze that. We, uh, see, like, Shitty Montana. Yeah. I can't, see, I can't, look, we need the, the story behind that. The brand new record by Shitty Montana. It wasn't going? Yeah, yeah okay. You know what, what else? And then what else? Like, you and I went by MPA Shitro. You know, MPA goes by. Is you shit know, the your favorite the curse word? Nah, in the hood, they call me shitty because I got a, a real messed up attitude. <laughs> what? You, know what you got a Since shitty attitude. Young, so from my hood, they yeah. just be like, the, you know, that shitty. That, that's the name they gave me <laughs> when I was young. What's the most fucked up thing you've done? I mean, we on the radio. Well. <laughs> oh, I don't want to okay, incriminate okay. nobody. Right. So, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The most fucked up thing I did was, uh, like, go to jail. Yeah. Okay. okay, fair right. enough. Right. But you out. Hey, yeah, do you mind if I still call you shitty from time to time? I like oh, it. I still, I still call him. Okay, all right, yeah, cool. Regular, Break right. Right. baby. No. <laughs> yeah. He's the shit. Shut up. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, cool. We, gonna, uh, we got a... Uh, That's funny. Yeah, hold on. Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. Yeah, yeah man. Shitty, shitty Montana. Man. Nobody told you... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that name might not work, huh? Yeah, it's nah, he's on the uh, he's on the record with Young Thug featuring like a hot boy. He's actually the person that helped, you know what I'm saying? Because he be in the A so uh -huh. much that mm -hmm. he helped put just the Migo situation and the Young Thug situation right. together. Because he been running with those dudes just in the streets in the A for a cool minute. So it's like all regular that he introduced me to them in the studio when they didn't know. Well, they were still rocking with me, but then you know what I'm saying? It's not you can't just go to the A and just yeah. walk in the studio and think everybody gonna respect you. It's definitely like a introduction type situation yeah. you really got to go down there and hit the streets so so shit he kind of got you initiated yeah man definitely <laughs> <laughs> he, he put me he ju they jumped me in over there in the a in the nah. you should you should, you should keep the name shitty man i think it might you <laughs> won't forget it all right good morning how you doing say hello to kid Inc. hey uh can y'all hear me it's yeah me. yeah go ahead hey uh first and foremost Sway, great job every morning love the show kid Inc., what's good man what's going on bro man i had a quick question for you so yeah. I saw you did a video with Steve O'Coy yeah. on YouTube, and and you and you was with uh, Microsoft and Gutex and whatnot. And like as a gamer, I thought that was such a good look. I thought that was really cool, and you ended up giving money to your charity. Yeah. So my question is, like, are you planning on doing something else like that in the future? Because I thought that was pretty dope, honestly. Definitely, man. I think I've been in a lot of talks, especially with just you know the people around me and just my team about getting into more charity stuff and getting out in the streets more and giving back I, I was real mad when i was on tour and i was on instagram watching people have all these charity sports events and do all these things and i was getting yeah. invitations and i'm like dang man they probably don't think i you know what i'm saying rock or do anything like that mm -hmm. to where i was just on skid row the other day with no promo just passing out food i went and bought That's like awesome. thousand dollars worth of food from rouse and just gave it out to everybody in bags and clothes and all kind of stuff because you know it is what it is, and it's the city, you know what I'm saying? I got to give back. I know where I came from. I started doing music because it was a dude who set up his own after-school program that had production equipment and microphones, and he taught us how to use all that stuff mm. on his own charity. Like, this is all his stuff he put into it. So me and Nipsey came from, you know what I'm saying, that, and I kind of understand that whole system and still, you know what I'm saying, believe in giving back for sure. That's what's up, man. Mm. Kid Ink is here. The album was mm. full speed. Uh, before I, I before I play like a hot boy, man, I wanted to yeah. see. You wonder, come here, man. Um, Kid Ink, you know he's he's been up here. He's done the Five Fingers. He's freestyled <laughs> the whole nine. But listening to you talk about how you put together an album, um, I find that to be like where the real talent lies. To the person who has the ability to write hooks, mm -hmm. right. you know what I mean. And I kind of wanted to challenge you. This, is, if you don't want to do it, you can say it on the spot in front Boo! of millions. All, all good. Right, all right, um, <laughs> You know, <laughs> we call this show Sway in the morning. You know, have the B Tracy G. You know, we talk to the world on a daily basis, not just one right. market, not just 15 markets, but the entire world. 
you know, we give a lot of people opportunities. You know, mm-hmm. we broke a lot of artists, broke a lot of songs. And I was hoping, you wonder, can you throw a beat on? Like, I, I, I wanted you to hear this beat. And I was wondering maybe if, you know, while we play your next song, you can listen to this beat and maybe write a quick hook about the show. Is that all right? All right. We can try something. Okay. All right. So that's going to be the beat. And then we're going to play it. We're going to play Like a Hot Boy featuring Shitty and Young Thug. All right. Here it is. Sway in the morning. Sway in the morning. Shade 4 5. Yeah, yeah. Kid Ink is here, man. Now, this is something. Yeah. I've only asked a few people to do this in my career. True. Because not everybody can handle it. True. You know what I mean? I'm, I've asked Kid Ink to write a hook on the spot. First time we ever did that yeah, yeah. was with Nas on the Wake Up Show with King Tech and myself. Um, and this was in the 90s. Yeah. And no Nas pressure. took one yeah. song and, and then he wrote a whole chorus for us. And then we had Jay-Z do it. No pressure. Mm. This was on the wake-up <laughs> show in the 90s. In the and 90s. Then, and then he was able to do that too. And then we had, uh, just get, who, who else? Oh, Shaggy did it. Was it Shaggy that came up here and did it? <laughs> Shaggy, Shaggy did it. Shaggy did it. Um, you got the Shaggy promo? I don't want to throw him off. Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. okay. I you think got, I got the Shaggy mine. promo? <laughs> And then Seven Streeter did it. Yeah. Okay. She killed it. Yeah, yeah. You I'm know, like, and Roscoe da- Miguel did it. M- Miguel did it. Oh, I know Miguel went off. Yeah. Roscoe Dash did it. He did. Dope. Right. All right. Forget the Shaggy thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> taking too long, though. Shaggy. God damn it. All right. <laughs> so DJ Wonder is gonna throw on this beat. Shaggy. And, and, and Kidding <laughs> just wrote a hook in three minutes. Mm. Sway yeah. in the morning, shade four or five. Let's go. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Whoop, whoop. Let's see what we get. Let me get one more round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time. It's kidding. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, yeah. It's real West Coast. <laughs> I like that. One, one. I'm with Sway in the morning. Everything on fleek on me. Said it's never gonna be boring. Now, when you with the Oakland OG, everything on fleek. Wake up like four. Oh, oh, just wake up like four. Just wake you up like four. Oh, oh. So that's the, all right, so go. I love it. Uh, so I got, all right, all right I got this one. So I got the words right here. So, so we're going to run it back one time. Whoop, whoop. So go like this. Go. One, one, one. I'm with Sway in the morning. Yeah. Everything on fleek on me ain't never going to be boring. Nah. When you with the Oakland OG, wake you up like four. Just wake you up like four. Oh, oh, just wake you up like four. Just we wake you up like four. Oh, oh, just. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. The second one was right where I had to get the way. I love it. <laughs> it's amazing where inspiration comes from. He just asked for coffee. Right, oh, right. Exactly. Shit. That was all the play. She was like, "Is hey, you want some coffee? Yeah. While I'm waiting, I'm like, okay, okay. Wake you up like four. But yo, honestly, that's why I, I tell people like. I like like this muted TV is yeah. my life. Like I, I honestly watch TV muted more with the like words uh-huh. than anything because I feel like the words I'm always looking at the words and you'll see words like I wasn't even thinking about that word and then come up with some or you'll see an action happening and you'll start making up the story yourself like that looked like this happened and then it'll turn into a situation off the record. That's crazy mm-hmm. that you said that because I heard that's how Busta Rhymes did the video for Put Your Hands Where My Eyes Could See. The video, the music was playing and Coming to America was on. Yeah. Right. And they were doing that scene with the dance and the wedding. And he was like, oh shit, that's my video. Yeah, like, I, w- I watched the entire Natural Born Killers movie for the first time on mute and was amazed in the studio. Like, this is the best movie ever. I don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> it, but it inspired like mm-hmm. different things. I wrote a song about it. And, like it's just a bunch of stuff just comes to mind. Dope. Wow. Kid Ink is here, man. The album huh? was full speed. You're going to be doing a tour too, right? Yeah, man. We're doing the Scream Nation tour. So it's like the reintroduction of the Scream tour back in the day, which I feel like now just thinking about my show, thinking about having Dej Loaf on it and her fan base right now, and then thinking about Ray Sherman and how they perform. I think this show is going to be way more like turned up and a little bit more hip hop than the last Scream tours where I feel like it was a little bit more pop driven you know yeah. it started with the B2K and mm-hmm. the Bow Wow side of things to where I feel like this show is gonna have way less kids under 15 than the other shows used to you know but did you need to holler at like Omarion or Bow Wow to get permission <laughs> to use that nah, name? Nah I, I didn't I don't know what Scream went through you know what I'm saying but Bow Wow is the homie Omarion's the homie I haven't talked to him since the whole tour and everything went down but I definitely want to reach out and see you know what I'm saying the experience and, and mm-hmm. see what they're about and 
how to get in that show. Because I remember going to one of the shows back in the day. I took my little brother to see Bow Wow, and I think Omarion was doing it. And it was dope. Like, it's a definitely the stage production. Everything is, like, not an average show. They really put a lot of money into it. So I'm excited to really give the ideas and, you know, turn up the show. Wow, man. Kid Ink is here. I, 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 I think I'm going to come to the Screen Nation tour, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I, we're hitting uh we definitely hitting Brooklyn out here. I don't okay. know the exact date right now. Somebody in the in the building knows. I'm, I'm gonna wait till you go to a softer city though. Yeah, I well, don't know the Brooklyn kids <laughs> turned up, man. I, I can't do that, man. That's loud. I was gonna be turned up. All right, look, we do this thing called lyrical breakdown, and I pick a song off the album. I want you to break down the lyrics. Yeah, yeah. And this song is called "Round Here." All right, so I decipher songs. But I'm a lyric guy. I like to, you know, find meaning. I'm the dude who looks at a picture and comes up with a thousand versions of what that picture yeah. means. <laughs> and if I if I get stuck, I kind of want to find out who the painter is and what did they mean when they painted it. Yeah, yeah. This song is called "Round Here." Round here. So I'm gonna go through the lyrics. If I if I if I if I, if I get it wrong, please correct me. <laughs> All good. All right, I'm gonna go with verse one. Niggas round here call me Debo. Take a nigga girl, she reporting like I'm a P.O. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead, break these. You, 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 you. So, <laughs> round here, niggas call me Debo. Take a nigga girl, she reporting like I'm P.O. So it's like Debo for me, when I say the Debo record in this song, the whole thing is really about just taking stuff. It don't have to necessarily be like, no bully, no. I mean, well, it's bully work, but it doesn't have to be like when you watch the, the Friday movie, like it's not like, over the top has to be gangsters. I'm taking chains and you know what I'm saying okay. dough not to thief. where right, right. I'm not <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. I'm not robbing you, but I'm definitely bullying the situation as far as the tables, the party, the female situation, the the show, the check. Like I'm, I'm just trying to you know what I'm saying get in front of that you know. So with that, that's how the Debo started, and you know, take a girl. She reporting like I'm PO. I, you know, I got a lot of friends. I got to report the POs. And I, I never had, I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I don't have to. I, I have too much that I have to partake into. I couldn't give that up. So, you know, I got, she reporting like a PO. PO okay. A parole okay. officer for you guys who don't know what a PO, the PO is. is. There it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, and your girl <laughs> is reporting like a PO. Yeah, your girl yeah, reports like, straight to the table like a parole officer. Like, your, I'm her parole officer. So mm. she's showing up like, I'm okay. here for the check in. Does your girl get <laughs> mad at lyrics like that or she understands it's just a song? Um, I mean, she understands it's a song, but at the end of the day, it's it's a reality. It's not like when the girl's reporting like a P.O., I'm like, so then I took it down. and da, da, da. It's like that's really what's happening. Even sometimes I'll say in records like, I'm smoking with your girlfriend. I'm smoking with my girlfriend, too, but your girlfriend here and you not here. So it's like it's still it's still <laughs> reality of the situation. So Rule for that to one. be the case. <laughs> it's a dirty game, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> so, uh, turn it from the six, put the one before the zero. I ain't nothing when I'm done. You know, I cancel like Nino. Oh, so what's it? oh okay. So I said, uh, <laughs> I take, I said, take her from a six, put the one before the zero. zero. So mm -hmm. I was saying, turn her into a dime. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so take a girl from, 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 a, from a six, ah, put the one before girl, zero. Okay. Exactly. Okay. It's a little upgrade. Like so take her from a six, put the one, one before the, the zero. zero. It ain't That's nothing sweet. when I'm done. You know, I cancel like Nino. So it's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not taking your girl. It's cool. After the club's over, after everyone gets my pictures and my table look popping, you have it back. You know, the Nino cancel line, I feel like it's been used a couple of times, but I've never really gotten to it like that. So I got that off. But That was from the movie. Uh, cancel that that's bitch. From, that's New from Jack New Jack, Jack City. City. New you Jack got canceled that bitch. Okay. Nah, but, uh, that, was, you know. that was such a harsh line. <laughs> <laughs> it was. And she was such a beautiful woman. I had her on the show, too, and we talked Ooh. about that. Yeah. Ooh. Forever. Dime a dozen, dime, dime a dozen. What kind of joke is that when people come to see you and be like, cancel that bitch? Yeah, she didn't Shut like up. it. She didn't like it. I was saying it too. Um, <laughs> hoes ain't loyal, but they freeload. <laughs> That's so yeah. true. You ain't even got to explain that. Uh, I remember when you used to give it up for free though. Mm. <laughs> 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 <Bitch. laughs> so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Again, so like the girls, you know what I'm saying? This is the table situation. They free load. They not loyal. They over here. You know what I'm saying? Free loading up on these bottles and everything. <laughs> and so ain't it obvious though? Like you go to the club and you can tell the girls that's just kind of lurking. Yeah. To get the free oh, alcohol. Oh, it's lurky. I've seen them. They dance slow, get up to the table, move, and it be one leg. Then you get one more <laughs> leg, and then you be like, "Yo, girl, you know that you bumping into me." But it happens, you know what I'm saying? They spill over. It's always spillage. Yeah. But it's not always just females. It'll be that one dude who will stand right in front of the table, but, like, right there the whole night. He ain't drinking nothing or nothing. 
But I've had dudes actually try to sneak. I've had females take the bottles too. Uh uh-uh, uh. What yeah. happens after that? Man. You never have to kick anyone out, tell them to chill? Yeah, I've taken the bottle straight from you. Like, give me that back. Put that. All right, all right. Give me that bottle. So, what was the uh, the next line I said, though? It was the. Now you uh, want it free, though. She give it up for free. I remember when you used to give it up for free, though. There's so (laughs) many girls that act different that you, in high school, I know you. Yeah. Remember? That's not fair. (laughs) High school. But you can't put none on me now. Like, I known you, you know me, so now it's different because, you know what I'm saying, we adults, I got to be a different guy. Yeah. Nah. No, nah, it's because nah, you're getting you money, get though. Look free. at your chain. But even not just me, it's like I know too many of the homies that you gave it up to for free, and you over here acting like, you know, now you, you got to pay for it. You got to yeah. trick for it. It's when it's over the top, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like regular trick for it. I'm, saying, I'm only saying that to girls who is like, are you kidding me? Like, I only rock with dudes who did it. Like, girl, do you know I know your... Track like yeah, yeah, <laughs> five yeah. of your best daddies. Yeah. What girl? I, that's so true, man. I, you know, this yeah. is some real. See, you never know where the inspiration from the lyrics come from. Let me continue. <laughs> <laughs> Spillage. <laughs> we getting it. Something that your man lack. He can't hold your hand, but he can't buy you. No, he can't okay. hold your hand, but he can't buy you no handbag. Right. <laughs> and that goes. It's all still in the play with just that that mentality. It's like. That girl's there, her boyfriend not there. She, you know what I'm saying? She might be with him on Instagram and they holding hands and they kissy yeah. face, but not when it's club time. No. <laughs> <I don't> care, <laughs> not man. when it's after party time and, and it's, or it's handbag time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's definitely uh, with, when a rich nigga wants you. That's what it is, That's the quote. It, That's where it all come from. A handbag. And it's just the reality of it. It's not something I support necessarily. I laugh at it, but I think it's just funny. You know what I'm all saying? All right. You're getting the insight. See, what's interesting about this. <laughs> Because, you know, Trey, you know, uh, Chris, you know, Migos, you know, um, all these different folks, including Kid Inc. This lifestyle is happening. This is actually happening around him. So if you want an inside view of what goes on in the (laughs) VIP session, uh, section, this is what's really going on. Cuff your chick. You better tuck your chain. I'm Debo and every day is Friday. Said I'm going to get you high, girl. Oh, going to slow it down. Just rolled up. Took one hit, you get knocked I the fuck out. Let me see. I had the flow. I had the flow memorized. I fucked up, man. So, so cuff your chick, chick, you better and tuck and your chain. chain round here. I'm deep and every day is Friday. Round here, yeah. said I'ma get you high, girl. Gonna slow it down. Just rolled up, took one hit, you got knocked the fuck out. So that end part was all a play on the Chris Rock. I mean, the Chris Tucker. Uh, you got knocked the fuck out. Yeah. So, but it's when you you took one hit of my blunt. And that's how I felt like that's how uh, you felt. So it's one hit of the blunt is a knockout. And mm. I kind of played that words with the Chris Tucker. Like, you got knocked the fuck out. So that's how I kind of I feel when I pass people my blunt. I'm like, you good? Okay. Yeah, you knocked out. Okay. And then what was the line before that? It was the uh, I'm Debo and every Debo day is Friday. Friday. So that that whole thing, too, <laughs> is, you know, that was a play on the movie, too, with the Debo tuck your chain situation. But I feel like that's, you know, what I came up in in L.A. It was always like I've had different chains and stuff since high school but it was always you know certain areas you go to and you're like i'm not gonna floss over here too much yeah. you know what i'm saying i don't really know nobody over here i'm not gonna be on that because it's not even that you necessarily are afraid you know sometimes you just don't want to feel disrespectful yeah. Yeah. when you got your chain on you're like why do i'll be in my house with my friends i'll be like man i don't need to keep showing like i, I see you keep looking at my chain yeah, it's man, not you, because you, you want it it's just listen, man you know? in the hood chain is like fresh steak mm. that you wear oh. around your neck mm. around hungry hyenas. Yeah. hyenas you know you don't want to put the steak <laughs> in a hyena's face unless yeah. you want them to take look you have never seen me in jewelry <laughs> have you ever noticed that and i've been yeah. working for 20 years yeah, i know you could grab you a nice one of these Man, I'm good. I'm good. i live in the heart of harlem and i'm from oakland where i'm gonna wear that jewelry mm. right right exactly <laughs> you know i'm a, that's cool yeah i don't i don't show off like that when yeah. i get out man. all right man thank you for doing that lyrical breakdown yeah so, man we are, you know um you talk about those blunts you know you from la yes i'm you know, from oakland but y'all used to have do sherm sticks Ooh, so, y'all used to that's dip- a what I've never, that? I've never got caught up. I've had friends who, you know, what I'm saying, been in and out. I've had friends who got caught up, and what you know, what I'm saying, true? got slipped. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He probably got some funnier stories. He's told me some funny hey, Sherm shitty. stories. Shitty. Yeah, yo, yo. Oh, shitty. <laughs> He's told me a couple funny uh, Sherm yeah. stories Explain before. Explain to people what Sherm is, man. Here, here, let, <laughs> you got to tell him. Well, Sherm <laughs> is um, a liquid <laughs> fluid. They say it got embalming fluid, but yeah. it's PCP, and it makes you hallucinate, right? Yeah. And they dip it in the blunt. They dip their cigarette in the Sherm. In the Sherm. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, or they're blunt in the shower. Yeah, um, and you smoke it. You smoke it. It overheats your body. Yeah, your brain starts going crazy. Huh? Oh, this is, this is so like in like all the cold regions too. Just don't put it off in California because yeah. people in DC yeah. that's just waterheads. Too. That's waterheads. They, they call it waterheads. They, they call it water on the streets. At, uh, we gonna LA. get a bit. Not a but, little bit. Uh, <laughs> Sherm stick. Sherm is the reason why the murder rate was high in the nineties. Yeah. It was charm because yeah, you get it people was just charm. first you, instinct was just spazzing out. You spaz out like if you don't if you don't know how to like control drugs, you spaz all the way out. Yeah, and there's people like doing life over charm like. With like charm. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah, no, man. man. <laughs> Welcome to LA. All right, <laughs> charm is like. It's it's terrible. It's worse, I, than, bath right, it's worse huh? than bath salts, probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Kid Ink, man, congratulations. <laughs> this dude has sold over four point five million accumulatively. Uh, Ooh, sold congratulations! Over 4. 5, five million appreciate uh, it. Albums and singles together, man. Yeah. Uh, You've had a lot of success, and you did it your way, you know, Man, in your own lane, so to speak. Working. Uh, working full speed. You, you hear what I'm doing yeah. with it, right? Um, <laughs> and uh, congratulations, man. Thank uh, you, man. Appreciate you, you guys. You here, always. Man. Nah, man, it's you, family work up here, man. Right? up. Okay, uh, yeah. and it's always something different, man. Stay different. Stay, in, you know, you, you're always positive about it. Got you know to, what man. I mean? Humble. And, uh, Humble and, and hungry. And so. I can appreciate yeah. that. Get the album full speed. Oof, I'm, go I'm grab that. Out now. Full speed. Go great. It's, it's some signed copies going around somewhere. It's the ones that come with the, uh, if you ordered, you pre ordered the DTLR, Ocean 15, yeah. Timberlands, you got a signed copy. I've been seeing those on Instagram. I just signed a bunch more last night that are going out too. So, you know, we having fun. I'm trying to make it really interactive with the fans and get them to go get those hard copies and those posters and appreciate the, the CD and have that forever. You That's did dope. Seth Myers last night, right? Seth Myers, yes, man. Amazing. That, I haven't done too many you know what i'm saying tv spots like that so when i get a chance it's really a different experience yeah. than doing tours like i did 200 dates 220 220 dates last year wow of shows where you know to go in and do this is a whole different experience and you know it's more fun to than yeah. you know what i'm saying being exhausted from doing tours and all that there it is kid ink man on seth myers <laughs> jimmy fallon's next man uh but first it was mtv all right was mtv hey, hey, was sway that's right rap fix, rap fix okay. freestyle okay <laughs> It's Sway in the morning, only on Shade 45.